This is David Holt, IV Consultant, with a few tips on how to give IV antibiotics through a PIC line. The same rules apply for a, another type of central line, so if that's what you have, please carry on and listen. A PIC line is usually inserted in the antecubital space, which is on the inside of the elbow. Um, and is good for anything from a month to six months. Most people do not keep it longer than six months because there's a slightly increased risk of infection, even if you are having the dressing changed in a timely manner. So you are at home, your nurse has come in to advise you on how to give your antibiotics, and you've learned from them, and now you're doing it yourself. So you have some kind of device to hang your bag from. Attached to that is your IV tubing. You fill up the IV tubing with the antibiotic. You, your nurse has decided to teach you to use a one IV tubing system, which is fine. Having filled up your IV tubing with the antibiotic, you flush your IV port appropriately and in an aseptic manner, of course, and you attach your IV tubing. You then open the uh, clamp of your IV tubing and set it at the appropriate drip rate so that you receive your antibiotics over a certain period of time, whether it's 30 or 60 minutes, or possibly an hour and a half or two hours if it's something like vancomycin. So you've got reached the point where the bag has emptied and most nurses will have advised you that when the bag is empty, you are done. This of course has a basic flaw in that you have not yet received all of your antibiotic. 93% of the nurses that I've worked with over the last uh, decade never gave a full dose of IV antibiotics. So you, as a patient, will do much better than my colleagues who went to nursing school and were not educated appropriately by their instructors. So when the bag is emptied, because you have a PIC line, <clears throat> it will usually be a little resistant to fluid going in when the bag is empty. There's not enough gravity pull or push to get it through the valve. So you may need to take a couple syringes of normal saline and inject them into your empty bag and allow that additional fluid to then flow in by gravity. Another way, if you are able to get them from your nursing system and your insurance, is to get 50 cc bags of normal saline or a compatible liquid and replace the empty bag with that 50cc flush bag and um, use about half of that flush bag to flow through the IV tubing to flush out the antibiotic, which needs to be in you rather than being wasted and disposed of in your trash. The third way is to roll up your empty antibiotic bag very gently and over a longish period of time so you don't push it into yourself too fast but you roll up that bag very much like a toothpaste tube and pressure the liquid to go into you until you've got air about a foot away from the end of the IV tubing just before it reaches you at which point you stop you clamp your IV tubing and you disconnect and you flush your ports. And that way you can get a full dose of IV antibiotics and statistically speaking you'll be doing three or four items that the nurse failed to teach you. So good luck.